1944. The ships put out of the ports toward France. The men of the armies marched toward the southern port. German fire brought down Allied soldiers, but others kept on. Cemetery, Omaha Beach. So in school, I never liked history. I never learned anything from about history in school. Everything I've learned about history has been from movies. This is kind of surreal for me because I know about it now um, as an adult. I guess the reason I get emotional is because when I think of the sacrifice these guys made, and the way our country is today, and the way the young people are today, they don't appreciate this. They have no concept of suffering. They have no concept of freedom. They just, they just take it all, they just suck. They just suck the life out of what all these men did for us. And that contrast between these men and the boys that are in America today is dramatic. Nobody cares. And it just, you know, I think about these guys. I mean, they had their whole lives in front of them. They just died here. They died over here to give other people freedom. It's, it's sad that our country is where it's at today and the young people are where they're at today. Anyway. And they chose to. It was a brotherhood. It just gives a feeling of the camaraderie between them. And they, they didn't want to leave. They wanted to fight. Tell her that when you found me, I was here and I was with the only brothers that I have left and there's no way I was gonna desert them. I think she'll understand that. been exploring Normandy and the beaches and all the stuff all day long and it is uh, 8 30 right now everything is closed supermarkets are closed restaurants are closed the only thing open is a pizza vending machine have you ever heard of a pizza vending machine I have not and this is it and we're fixing to figure out what this is about it's called gang of pizza language English uh, Okay, so you okay. got cheese. Where's another one of those hands, right here? No, you got to get three are, of those. Those are this big. And this will be breakfast too. Okay. <laughs> okay. They'll eat this for breakfast. Okay. Right, well, we got to wait gone. three minutes for each pizza. So that's three, six, nine, ten, eleven minutes. 
Oh, 11 minutes. Can you imagine us waiting 11 minutes? <laughs> oh, oh, the first ones will be cold by the time the last one's done. Well, do you want to join the gang party? No, we don't want to join the party. Is this something, something bon appetit? Oh, it actually smells good. That looks good. really good. Okay. Oh my Hold gosh. It up and put it okay. Oh, it's not cut though. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just use a knife there. We got pizza from a pizza kiosk. Oh my god. <laughs> we rented a car to drive around France. Hopefully there's a pizza cutter here because they didn't cut it. Yeah. Okay, what kind of pizza? It must be already cooked and they just throw it in some kind of little oven. Doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Mm. How is it? Let's Bored. go. Let's see. What's to be expected from a? I don't think I'm gonna get food poisoning. It's so that's good. good. That's good. <laughs> but it's not. Pop it's not John's. bad. It's, it's not, not pizza. Tastes cool. good. All right, so a lot of you guys are asking about whether we got a new boat, why we don't, and obviously we didn't get a new boat. We, we are happy with the boat we have, and there's a fact that Privilege has never offered us a new boat or, or wanted to work with us in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Over five years, they've never reached out to us, wanted us to do anything for them, and uh, so we've never done a deal with Privilege. There's never been a deal to done. Matter of fact, I'm probably the black sheep of Privilege at the factory. Uh, but there's a lot of things we learned. We went to the factory. Uh, I studied a lot of things going on there. I know a lot, a lot of the boat owners, existing boat owners that are buying brand new privileges or clients of our Blue Water Cruising. And so I went to the factory because I wanted to understand what's going on in the factory, the management privilege. And I learned a lot of things. And, and right now I can't talk about those things because I'm not out of Europe. But as soon as I get to where I feel free of Europe and Europe rules and laws, then I'm going to talk all about privilege and what I saw there. Does Privilege make a great boat? Yes, they do. I'm not I'm not talking about Privilege and, and the manufacturing of boats. I'm talking about the management of Privilege and uh, that's a big issue. So we're gonna talk about that in another episode and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the things I learned and the things I'm concerned about with the management of Privilege and why anybody buying a boat from Privilege should be concerned if they're gonna do business with Privilege. Gotcha. So me and Glory have decided to take the opportunity of a sunny day to hike one of these mountains. Mm -hmm. We're not sure exactly which one, but we're going to sort that out when we get over there. Tora has, well, we're paying for it, but he's rented out his boat to us, so we're going to use it to get over there because the fjord is big and wide. Okay, okay go. Yeah, okay, get out of here, go. Get out of here. Everyone else is sick. I am too, but I'm going to do it anyway. Aww. Dedication.
Okay, Finn, it's your turn. Yeah, I did it yesterday. Yeah, but, but we didn't get it on film. We can't prove it. Let's go, baby. All right, go, Kate. Kate's going to go way longer right. than me. Are you staying here? Yep, I'm going right. to stand right here where I don't get wet. Have you got a timer? I do. Wait, I have to reset this. Glory stayed in 10 minutes today. Oh and we're going to see if they... <laughs> we're going to time them, see how long they go. So yeah, as soon as we got here to Norway, we all got sick. We got the flu or a cold or something. But Finn and Glory started feeling a little bit better yesterday, so they took a hike and had a great time. Hopefully in the next few days, we'll all start getting better. We're gonna stay in the fjords for a few more days, head down to Oslo, where Keith and Jack are gonna get dry suit certified so that when we get to Iceland, they can scuba dive the Silfer Rift, which is where the continental plates come together. It's supposed to be crystal clear, beautiful water, something Keith's wanted to do all his life. Ethereal or whatever it's called. Ethereal. <laughs> and so we're gonna do that and spend a week driving around the volcanic island of Iceland. I'm so excited. Hopefully we'll feel better and be able to enjoy it all. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to. Oh my gosh. She's been in almost 10 minutes. What was your record? 10 minutes, 30 seconds. The boys got in, got out. I feel warm. <laughs> it's called hypothermia. <laughs> Our next adventure took us on a gorgeous seven hour drive back down to Oslo, where we rented an Airbnb. And while Keith and Jack got their dry suit scuba certifications, me, Glory, Finn, and Kate spent the day exploring a Norwegian village and soaking up the warm afternoon sun after a week of rain. And then we flew to Iceland. We're off to Iceland to the cold water. I finally got my butt back. Uh, my pants aren't falling down anymore. Melatonin. Melanin. I love this guy. This is my guy. She's not going with us to Iceland. No, she I'm got going fired. back to the boat she in got Barcelona. Fired. She's grounded. She's grounded. She's I'm in trouble. A party. Trouble girl. I had already booked all of our Iceland trip before she decided to come out on the boat. So I've only got lodging for five people and flights for five people. She so. eats a lot. She is an eater. That's why I look pregnant all the time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go to the clutch, okay? Yeah, pull it up. Pull it towards you and push it, yep, push it up. I have made it to the boat. Oh, Miss Renee Whitaker is calling me because I can't get the passerelle down and I need to get my stuff. Hey. Hi. Okay. Yeah, you want to make sure it doesn't hit that stand or whatever that is there. Okay. So walk me through it. So go up to the front of the mast and I'll, I'll, we'll let the passerelle down. Go to the mast. Okay, okay. okay walk me through this. All right. <coughs> oh, hello there. Okay. Okay, let me see the lines you're looking at. So look up. Up more. Look up more. Yeah. Okay, those right there are clutches. Those are the clutches. Yeah. And the one you're going to be looking for is the one at the back there, but it looks lower than all the other ones. Okay, hold on. Give me two seconds. The one that looks lower down is in the back. Right back. Ah, see? Yeah, that one. So, okay. okay. Wait, don't disappear now. One wrap off? Okay. And then just let it go. They don't really see it. So. Wow, this is like training 101. This is like me learning how to become a sailor, right? Exactly. <laughs> I stepped on something. I don't know what, but I stepped on something. Don't worry about it. Well, there you go, folks. This is me learning how to run a ship. Learning how to run the Zatara ship all by myself. Let's see. Okay, passerelle, down and good. Due to an upcoming boat show, the marina had moved our boat and failed to connect it back up to shore water. 
Okay, so here's what's going on. Minute five of being back here. Hose, not attached. Definitely no way that that bad boy is fitting on there. So Jack is sending me voice memos to help me figure out how to get this fitting on. So let's go. So the problem for right now is the hose fitting. So let's try these, see which ones of these. I don't think any of these are fitting, dude. This is honestly silly. I don't, none of these are working. I hate that I can't even figure out the hose fitting, you know? Like how am I supposed to figure anything else out if I can't figure out the hose fitting? Meanwhile, over in Iceland. Yeah. So Kate and Jack are getting ready to dive here at Silver Rift. Uh, and then Kate is going to snorkel about an hour after them with a different group. It's going to be cool. Look at that. No, you look like a bird. Astronaut. An astronaut, yep. It's like putting on ski, ski gear. You're going to be melting by the time you get started. I feel like I'm going to Mars. <laughs> Can you smile? <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready for ready. You gotta go get the rest of it on. Yep. Um, the Iron Man thing goes in the front. There you go. <laughs> there they go. Bye bye. It's so warm. And you can't come inside again. It's hypothermia, honey. It's so warm. It's so warm. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> you like it, yeah? Good job. I love that. Did you like I it? I love it so much. That's cool. Oh, I love this so much. Guys, hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Let's go for the hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Warmer than the snorkeling? Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
cold. This is the Skull of Boss waterfall. Keith is still frozen from the dive today. I'm still freezing still cold. <laughs> cold. Jack and Kate are getting the water down here. Or going behind it. We want to fill the water. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're gonna get soaked. Yep. Make sure to come back next week as we finish up our Iceland adventures and then head back to the boat.